Hello everybody. Hope you all had a great Christmas. Uh, we had a pretty good Christmas. Uh, kids got some cool stuff. Hi. The other one's smiling right now. The other one's still sleeping. But yeah, the kids got some cool stuff. Uh, my husband's Christmas present's coming a little late because I had to wait to order it. And his Christmas present for me is coming a little late. But anyway, let's let's stop with the chit chatting and get right into the video. And today's topic is gonna be, let's talk about Nintendogs. So first, let's get started with the story. So, I guess the story of Nintendogs is, I want a puppy. Yeah, that's the story. I want a puppy. So you go and get a puppy. I don't know what more plot you need, honestly. Like, I, I really don't know. No, I don't. So let's just move on to the gameplay. So, obviously the gameplay is where the big draw is for this game because everybody, you know, we all wanted the Nintendo dogs. Even when we had a real dog, I still wanted a virtual dog. Don't ask why apparently my real dog wasn't good enough. I needed a virtual one to go along with her. But, so, you know, when you get the game, um, it's all, of course, touchscreen because the Nintendo DS had just recently come out. So, the touchscreen was the big thing. It was the big thing for a lot of games when it was first coming out. That was the big gimmick. They wanted to use, like, mostly touchscreen for everything. That's just how they rolled. So... Anything you're doing, it's all on the bottom screen, you know. You tap the thing when you're in the house to get the dog's attention to whistle. You pet them using the stylus. You, like, scrub them using the stylus. You take them for a walk, you know, you... They're on the leash and you kind of hold the leash and you kind of gently tug it if you're trying to stop them or pull them back or whatever. Uh, even their little poops, because they'll poop on a walk and pee on a walk. You have to... For their poops, you have to be a good citizen and clean it up, so you tap the poop with your stylus. And you can take them to the park and like throw the frisbee for them or throw a ball and throw all the toys yeah you throw all the toys so they can play fetch yeah so you know I mean it's it's all pretty basic for the gameplay back then the graphics also it seemed like they were great at the time I was like oh my god this dog is amazing it looks adorable it looks so good Nowadays, uh, the graphics don't hold up quite as good. No, they don't, kiddo. You'd probably be just better getting the real dog. The real dog's gonna be cuter. Also, sorry if you can hear my dog eating in the background, speaking of real dogs. And then my baby making baby noises. We just need the toddler coming in here making toddler noises. But... Yeah, the graphics, uh, I mean, they're not bad, but they don't exactly look super great either by nowadays standards. I mean, you know. And I, there's not much to talk about in ways of controls because, yes, there's a bunch of different things such as, you know, you throw the toys and everything, but it all, it literally just all involves tapping. You just tap the screen. And, I mean, so I guess the tapping, it's intuitive. It lines up good and everything. Uh, great tapping. It's very nicely calibrated. 10 out of 10 on tapping. Tapping gameplay. Woo! So, next we're going to move on to the final portion, which is my thoughts and opinions. So honestly, I covered, you know, kind of some of my thoughts and opinions uh, in the last section, but as a kid, I genuinely enjoyed this game, and honestly, for what it is, it's really, it's a good game. I mean, you just take care of doggos, and then they made a cat version, where you can have cats and dogs, and you get the different, so, because you had to get the different versions to get certain dogs, because I had, so I had a, I believe it was... I had two versions. I had the German Shepherd and Friends, or Chihuahua and Friends, whichever one had the German Shepherd. 
And then I later got the Dalmatian and Friends. That was like a one that came out a little later. But initially my parents got me the German Shepherd one because I had a German Shepherd growing up. Jewel. She was a great dog. Loved that dog. But, you know, so they... So you have like, I believe it's... Yeah, it's three or four... Three or four different... I think it's only three. Three breeds that you can choose from. And, you know, you just go to adopt... So you'll have the puppies and, you know, they'll have the different color schemes. They're very expensive. So you have to do, you know, uh, like competitions and stuff, sell items and treasures, whatever, to get the money to buy the puppies. But yeah, in each one, you only have like three different breeds you can choose from. So you kind of have to be selective if there's really a certain breed you're wanting. One thing I really hate about the game and there's a way that I, so I think I know why they did it but the way that there's a way they could have circumvented it so when you get the game and you start it you cannot start over there is no delete owner profile start like there's there's nothing like that once the game has been picked up and used it's staying that way like you can't you can't get rid of the profile and everything so, and I think they did that because they didn't want to make it super sad of like, oh, you're deleting your profile and getting rid of the dogs, but, like, you can't get rid of the dogs, but the thing is, they could have just made it not a big deal, be like, oh, just, do you want to start the game over, instead of making, they didn't, it seems like they were trying to avoid making this heartbreaking, heartfelt thing of you abandoning your dogs, but they could have just done it by being like, oh, you sure you want to start over, and then just not shown like sad puppy faces or made you feel guilty or anything it's like you they didn't really need to make it so you just couldn't start the game over so like if you got a used copy of the game which a lot of people would do to get games cheaper you're kind of screwed because you're going to be stuck with whatever dog they have and then you just have to sit there and pray and hope that they didn't get three dogs because if they got all three dogs if i'm remembering correctly you can't get rid of a dog so if someone already filled all the slots of dogs, you're just stuck with somebody else's dogs. You can't get your own dog and make it custom that way. So that honestly was definitely a huge oversight, I feel, in my opinion. Like, Nintendo should have thought of that one because it really sucks. So that's something I really did not like about it. So, and another thing, even as a, you know, younger and everything and enjoying games like that, when I did get the game, the game its enjoyment wore off pretty quick. Like, honestly, the game gets pretty old pretty fast. It, you play it for maybe a week and you're loving it, and then, honestly, even later when you try to jump back into it, you can't really get back into it. It's just, there's just barely anything going on. It's such a bare-bones game. Like, I feel they could have done really good with it, but it just... I feel like it needed a lot more. Like if they were to remake it nowadays for the Switch or the 3DS or something, I feel like they could they could have the potential to have a really cool game and do a lot with it because that's really where it struggled is in its longevity. There there basically is none. You get bored of it very quick. So honestly, I'm going to give this game like a I'm going to say a 5 out of 10 just because the novelty does wear pretty thin pretty quick. It was a cute game. It's not bad. You can probably pick up a copy super cheap now, although if you could get it off uh, the Nintendo eShop, I might recommend doing it that way more just so that way you don't run into the problem of buying a physical used copy of like you can't even make any dogs or anything. But, you know, so... Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. You don't have to, but it helps let me know what y'all are enjoying watching. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload every Monday and Friday is review videos, and Sunday and Wednesday is gameplay videos. If you want to see me play some games on Twitch and follow what's going on in my life, such like Twitter or Instagram, that's all linked down below. Also my vlog channel. That's gonna be it for today, and I will see you all next time. Bye!